Hello, it's vlog number 18, and today's topic is a great resource to teach about Harriet Tubman. Welcome to the History Geek Teacher Vlog. My name is Eric Langhorst, and today's topic is a resource from the New York Times. I recently started to subscribe to uh, the New York Times. I received it at home um, a couple times a week, and there was a great article on Sunday about the Underground Railroad. And then on Twitter, I was able to come across a great uh, multimedia-type project that the New York Times created about Harriet Tubman's flight to freedom. So I wanted to spend a little bit of time today showing you that resource and giving you a quick Tour. So here we are at the site I wanted to share with you. It is from the New York Times, published on February 24th, 2017. It's Harriet Tubman's Path to Freedom. So I think this would be a great resource to use with students instead of maybe handing them a paper copy of an article. This is very visual. It's got a lot of different uh, hyperlinks in it. Um, on the top here, if you do want to share it with your students, you have the ability to click the button here and you can um, send it through a tweet or Facebook or you can email it. But as you go through the site, and I'm going to scroll down here, you'll notice that it's arranged so that on the right-hand side you have maps. And we're going to be talking about um, Harriet Tubman's flight to freedom here. So on the left-hand side, you're going to see text and then also images. So as you scroll down, um, notice that on the right-hand side, as you scroll up, you're going to see different maps. And those will kind of pop up with a little bit darker locations on them here in a second. But I like the hyper-connectivity of this. So if my students are reading about the Harriet Tubman Underground Railroad Visitor Center, for example, they can click on that link and go directly to the site. So um, something you could not possibly do with a paper copy. You can definitely um, kind of expand your knowledge and, and read a little bit more about some of these topics. And then notice again as I get here, it's going to show me the location on a map. Since geography is so important to this story, um, I think it's nice to have that map on the right hand side and then have students be able to read about it on the left. And as you scroll down, it's going to have these really nice descriptions. Um, again, when I was looking at this about the, uh, the canal, I was kind of curious about what this canal was or, you know, why it was created. And so when you click on that link, it gave me a nice description of the canal. I was uh, amazed to learn that it took 20 years. And uh, this was basically dug by enslaved and free blacks over um, like a 20 year time span. And it's a seven mile long canal. So there's lots of ways to kind of expand and learn a little bit more as you go through this story of Harriet Tubman. Again, great pictures, just really, really nicely done. I'm going to continue to scroll down here a little bit and it'll keep pointing places out on the map and it expands here. I love the way that it kind of, the words float over the map and give it that really rich, multiple uh, visionary type sensor. So I'm gonna scroll down and on the bottom, there's some uh, additional great articles online, Ontario, Detroit, Pittsburgh, New York, Ohio, and Florida. So if you wanna find out more about some Underground Railroad aspects in other states, um, if I click on the New York one, for example, and give you an idea here, it talks about the different places you could go on a New York City Underground Railroad tour. And uh, the nice thing about this article is they have lots of 360 video. So if I wanted to click on this, and I'll be able to scroll around. So I'm at that location, and I can totally go around 360 and be there. So for someone like me that is not... Um, in New York at the time, I can definitely go to that that site and I can look around and see what it's like. So a great resource. I really encourage you to check it out with your students. Um, I definitely want to use this as a resource in the future for my students, maybe plan an activity around it. And again, this is from the New York Times. So if you teach Harriet Tubman, I encourage you to check out this resource. It's a, a really rich um, inviting resource that I think your students will enjoy. As always, we have links on our website that is at historygeekteacher.com. And remember, history is so much more than just a bunch of boring old dead guys. Until next time, bye.